Hello children, how are you all? I hope you are happy and healthy. Children, it is my request, wear masks always. Don't move outside of your house. Please play inside your house and complete your work. So children, this is my advice to study well and keep safe from this coronavirus. So children, please take care of yourself and uh, we will start our chapter that we are already studying chapter number two that is addition and we just uh, now going to start our properties of addition as we have discussed in a previous video as we have seen in the order property that change when we are changing the order of numbers, we are getting the same sum. And we have discussed that. Uh, I am going to recall what we have studied in our earlier video. That is 6 and 2 and 7 and 3. Now, if we are adding this, so we are getting the same sum. Okay. 6 and 7 is 13. Okay. Now, if we are change the place of this number if we will write 7 and 3 at the first place and 6 and 2 in the second place so what we are getting we are getting the same sum that is we have already done in our previous video that is order property and in order property we have discussed that after changing the place of and the order of the numbers we are getting the same sum okay so we have already done few exercises on the basis of order property now we are moving to the grouping property okay so how to make group of numbers so children today we are going to learn grouping property So what is grouping property? Grouping means we have to make a group first. Ek koi bhi cheez ka group banana. Numbers ka group banana. Aur phir ek number hum bahar lik dete hain. Uske baad phir usi number ko mutha ga phir group mein le aate hain. That is called grouping. But the condition is the sum will remain same all the time. So here for this I am going to give you one example children that is uh, 5 to 5 we will write in the group 5 to 5 plus 7 1 2 okay and plus 1 2 1 so children what we are getting over here first first we will count 5 to 5 7 1 2 5, 2, 7, 2, 1, 3 and 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So, we are getting 1237. Okay. Now, now 5, 2, 5 plus 7, 1, 2 is 5, 2, 7 and 2 and 1 is 3 and 5 and 7 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. 1237. The answer is 1237. And after adding this. 1237 plus 121. If we are going to add. 7 and 1 is 8. 3, 2, 5. 2 and 1 uh, is 3 and 1. So here what we are getting. 1300. 58. 1358. Now the answer is 1358. Now children, if we are going to make different group or we just change the number to make the group. Now 5 to 5 okay, plus 1 to 1. We will write 1 to 1 first. Then 7 1 2. Now here again you can see now 5 2 5 plus 
वन टू वन प्लस सेवन वन टू सो वॉट इज द सम ऑफ दिस टोटल दीज थ्री फाइव वन सिक्स सेवन एट ओके नाउ टू टू फोर एंड वन सिक्स टू टू फोर एंड वन फाइव एंड हेयर फाइव दैट इज एट एंड फाइव इज इज थर्टीन नाउ थर्टीन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी एट इट मीन्स वन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड फिफ्टी एट द सेम सम यू आर गेटिंग ओवर हेयर आफ्टर चेंजिंग और आफ्टर मेकिंग द ग्रुप ऑफ नंबर्स वी अभी यहाँ पे क्या है फाइव हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस सेवन हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व है ना इधर आप देखिए फाइव हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस वन ट्वेंटी वन आई हैव चेंज द नंबर बट instead of changing the number your sum will remain same so this is called grouping we are grouping we are changing the group we are making the group of different numbers but the sum will remain same ye teen number hain inko hum chahe aage likh le ya piche likh le ya bracket isko group kare ya group ke bahar kar de but the sum of these three digits numbers will remain same that is called grouping property okay children as we have discussed this property in our earlier video also we are just revising this so that is why i have given one example we had 525 plus 712 plus 124 in the bracket we already made group so now after the group is 121 The sum of these three numbers are one thousand three hundred fifty-eight. Now here I just make another group that is five twenty-five plus one twenty-one. I just placed that number which is outside of this group. I just make it uh, place it here. So this is five twenty-five plus one twenty-one plus seven one two equal to thirteen hundred fifteen. Fifty-eight. That is one thousand three hundred and fifty-eight. That is called grouping property. Okay, children. Now for this example, we will do one more example. Okay. We will do one more. Adding. Okay, first we will do. I have made this one group that is two hundred twenty-five plus one hundred seventeen. So first we will add two hundred twenty-five plus one one seven. Okay, so five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Twelve, and one is there. So two and one is three plus one is four, and two and three is. Two, two and one is uh, three. Now one, one, one. We are going to add one, one, one. So two and one is three. Okay. Now four and one is five, and three and one is four. So what we are getting? Four hundred fifty-three. Four hundred fifty-three. Now I am going to change the numbers, and I am get. I am going to make a group. A new group. So here, one one seven plus one one one, and then two twenty five. So what we got answer four fifty three. The answer was four fifty three. Now first we will do one one seven plus one one one. First we will add seven one eight, one one two, and two. And now what is left? That is two twenty-five. Two twenty-five. Five and eight is thirteen. One will be carry over. Two to four, one five, and two to four, four hundred fifty-three. The answer we are getting four hundred fifty-three. Now here, one thing you have to pay attention to here. Here, one thing you have to pay attention to here. Here, one thing you have to pay attention to here. Here, one thing you have to pay attention to here. the three numbers are remaining same and after making the new group the sum of these dot total will remain same that you always remember after grouping 
of any type of numbers. The, the sum of groupings of numbers will remain same after making groups. That you always remember. The sum of three number is the same when we change the groupings of the numbers. The sum of the, these three numbers is same. Even we are changing the grouping. So that is always you have to remember. Otherwise, what happened? You will change the number and you will get the wrong sum. So always remember the three numbers, the sum of three numbers is the same when we change the grouping of the numbers. That is called grouping property. So children, first we will do few exercise which is given in the bracket. You can find these exercise in your maths book page number 33. Okay, so take out your maths book. We will do in the book also and copy. So first we will do in book. So this is page number 33 in your maths book. So please take out your maths book and complete this exercise. Now first is a add and fill in the blanks children. Okay. Now first is add and fill in the blanks. Okay. So first we will do a number that is 535 plus 712 bracket close I made group one, then 1, 2 and 3 ok so equal to first of all we will add this one 535 and 712 so 5, 2, 7 3 and 1 is 4 and 5 and 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So this is, first we will write answer over here, 1200, okay, 1247 plus 123, okay. So now here, 1247, 1247, and 123, what we will get? 7 and 3 is 10. 1 will be carry over. 4 and 2 is 6. So the answer we will write 1370. Okay. 1370. 70. Okay. 1370. This is the sum. Now we will do again the same sum in a different manner. So first we will do 535, 35, okay, and plus 7, 1, 2, plus 123, okay. Now add this, first of all we will add, what we will add, 535 plus equal to 535, Plus, what we are going to add? 7, 12 and 1, 3. 7, 1, 2 and 1, 2, 3. So, 2 and 3 is 5. This is 3 and 7, 1, 8 is 835. So, we will write 835. Okay. We will write 835. And then, after that, what we are getting? After adding this 535 and 835, what we are getting? Let's count. 535 and 835. Again, 5510 five, plus 1, 3, 3, 6, 1, 7. And 8 and 5 is 13 plus 
what we are getting? 5, 5, 10, 3, 3, 6, 1, 7 and 8 and 5 is 13. Okay, 13, 17. Again we are getting 13, 17. The answer is 1370. Okay, the answer will remain same. After changing the group, you can see over here. 535 we have written over here plus we just make new group 712 plus 123 ok here you can see 123 is out of the bracket now we have already added inside this bracket and 535 is out of the bracket we just change the place of the number we just make the group the new group after adding this new group or making the new group, you can see after adding this all three digits number, we are getting the same sum. 13, 1370. 1370. So, children, this is called grouping property. Now, we are moving to the next one. Next one is also there. You can see at the same number. Same page number that is number B. Okay, number B we are going to do 843 843 plus in the bracket 935 935 plus 412 412. Okay, now equal to equal to you can see 843 again because there is no number so that is why and then we will add 935 ok 935 and 412 935 and 412 so what we are getting over here 527 314 and 94 10 11 12 13 1347 ok now we will write 1347, okay. Fill in the blanks with 1347. Now after that we will do equal to, and now we will count 843 and 1347, okay. So we will count 7 and 3 is 10, 1 will be carry over. Now 44819, okay, 8, 3, 9, 10 and 11, 11 we are having and 1 will be carry over. So 1 and 1 is 2, 200, now we will write over here 2190, 2190 we are getting. So completed children, fill in the blanks with this. Now in the next, now we are going to make new group but the number will remain same. So 843 plus 935 plus 412. Okay. So now what we will get? First of all, 843 and 935. We will count 843, 843 plus 935. First we will count 538, 437 and 89, 8 and 16 and 117. So we are getting over here 1778. Okay. Now we will write this plus 142. Here we are getting 1778 plus we have to add 412. It means 412. So now let's count. Now 8 and 2. 8 and 2 is 10. 1 will be carry over. 7 and 1 is 8 plus 1 9. 7 and 4 is 11 plus 1 and here you can see 2190. The answer we are getting 2190.
2190 the same answer the same sum we are getting once again after changing or making the groups okay so that is why i am telling you this is the grouping property and after making the different group the same number we are just making the group in a different way but still we will get same sum so that is why we will say the sum of these three numbers is the same when we change the groupings of the numbers so after changing the groupings of the number we will get same sum so now a and b we have completed now we are moving to the next one that is zero property okay addition addition property of zero that is also we have completed in our previous class addition property of zero addition property of zero now here children this is you can say a new type of property and as we have discussed proper property and uh, this property grouping property now we are moving to addition property of zero when zero is added to a number or a number is added to a zero okay when zero is added to a number or number is added to a zero we are getting the sum is the number itself sum of that number that addition will the number itself now here children i'll i'll uh, i'm just going to give you one example that is 485 plus if you are adding zero now what we will get 5 will remain same 8 will be 8 and 4 will be 4 so 485 after adding zero with any number the sum will remain same the number itself is the sum so that is zero hum kisi bhi number mein agar jodte hain hum wahi number payenge chahe koi bhi number ho agar hum maan lijiye 4 plus 0 kar rahe hain so we will get four alls again if we are adding this say yahan pe aapne dekha hoga 5 mein 0 aapne add kiya to bhi 5 aapko mila 8 will remain 8 for so same number we are getting so that is why i am telling you that when zero is added to a number or a number is added to zero when zero is added to a number or number added to a zero is added to a zero the sum is the number itself the sum is the number itself you can see over here the sum of this total the sum of this number is remain 5 so always remember jab hum zero ke sath koi bhi number jodte hain to hamara sum wahi number rehta hai the sum of that total that zero will remain the number same itself so that is why if we will do 1 plus 0 so here you can see the sum of this 9 plus 0 will remain the number itself so always remember when zero is added to a number or a number is added to zero the sum is the number itself so that is very important for you to learn okay so here we have discuss zero property now we are moving to exercise number 2.4 okay children so we will do exercise number 2.4 2.4 okay so turn over your page page number 33 you can get at the end of the this page you can get this exercise number 2.4 okay without adding fill in the blanks now first of all we will do 
विदाउट एडिंग फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स ओके चिल्ड्रन नाउ हियर वी विल सी फर्स्ट नंबर दैट इज टू फाइव वन प्लस फोर हंड्रेड एट इक्वल टू फोर हंड्रेड एट नाउ वॉट वी विल गेट ओवर हेयर प्लस टू फाइव वन वी जस्ट चेंजिंग द प्लेस ऑफ नंबर्स ओके द आंसर इज टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी वन नाउ इन सेकेंड बिकॉज वी शुड नॉट एड वी जस्ट राइट द करेक्ट आंसर नाउ हेयर एट थ्री वन एट थ्री वन प्लस थ्री सिक्स फोर इक्वल टू अगेन एंड प्लस एटी वन प्लस एट थ्री वन ना हेयर सो वी विल राइट थ्री सिक्सटी फोर ओके द आंसर इज थ्री सिक्सटी फोर ओके नाउ वी आर मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट वन दैट यू कैन फाइन ऑन पेज नंबर थ्री थर्ड नंबर फोर एटी वन प्लस थ्री नाइन्टी सिक्स प्लस टू सिक्स सेवन इक्वल टू थ्री नाइन्टी सिक्स प्लस फोर एटी वन दिस इज द आंसर प्लस टू सिक्सटी सेवन so the answer you can see here so completed children now we are moving to the number 4 number 4 is 607 plus 812 plus here you can see Now here we will write three hundred and twenty-one. Then again equal to eight hundred and twelve plus six hundred and twenty-six seven six hundred and seven plus three hundred and twenty-one. So answer is three hundred and twenty-one. Okay, so completed these three numbers. we are moving to the next so children completed number 4 we have completed now we are moving to number 5 so take a screenshot now we are moving to number 5 okay number 5 i am going to write that is 519 Plus two hundred and seventeen plus four hundred and thirteen equal to four hundred and thirteen plus that is five hundred nineteen uh, nineteen and plus two hundred and seventeen. The answer is five hundred and. 19 so completed children now we are moving to the number 6 819 plus 0 here we have already discussed what we will get after adding 0 we will get the same number itself so that is why what we are getting 0 plus 800 and 19 the answer is this okay 819 now 
सिक्स ट्वेंटी वन प्लस ज़ीरो इक्वल टू हेयर वी विल राइट ओके सिक्स ट्वेंटी वन प्लस ज़ीरो ओके नाउ नंबर एट एट हंड्रेड नाइनटीन प्लस एट हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व प्लस सेवन ज़ीरो सिक्स इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व ओके नाउ प्लस एट हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटीन इज रिटर्न ओवर हेयर सो वी विल एड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स ओके दिस इज द आंसर सेवन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स प्लस एट हंड्रेड नाइनटीन सो दिस इज द आंसर सो कंप्लीट दिस और टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट वी विल डू नेक्स्ट वन दिस इज एक्सरसाइज नंबर टू पॉइंट फोर वी आर डूइंग सो चिल्ड्रेन कंप्लीट इट और टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट नाउ एट वी हैव कंप्लीटेड नाउ वी आर मूविंग टू द नाइन सो नाइन नंबर वी आर डूइंग ओके फाइव हंड्रेड फोर्टीन प्लस सिक्स जीरो सिक्स प्लस फोर हंड्रेड इक्वल टू फोर हंड्रेड प्लस सिक्स हंड्रेड सिक्स इज गिवेन सो दैट इज वाई द आंसर इज फाइव हंड्रेड फोर्टीन प्लस सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स तो आंसर इज फाइव हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टीन सो कंप्लीटेड चिल्ड्रेन नाउ वी आर मूविंग टू द टेन नंबर सेवन हंड्रेड एंड टू प्लस टू हंड्रेड एटी वन ओके नाउ सॉरी देन प्लस वॉट वी विल एड वी विल एड सिक्स ट्वेंटी वन सिक्स ट्वेंटी वन देन इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड एटी वन प्लस सिक्स ट्वेंटी वन सिक्स ट्वेंटी वन प्लस सेवन हंड्रेड एंड टू सो द आंसर इज सिक्स ट्वेंटी वन ओके कंप्लीटेड चिल्ड्रन दिस एक्सरसाइज वी हैव कंप्लीटेड एक्सरसाइज नंबर टू पॉइंट फोर ओके कंप्लीटेड और टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट एंड फ्रॉम टुमारो ऑनवर्स वी विल स्टार्ट एक्सपेंडेड एडिंग यूजिंग एक्सपेंडेड फॉर्म ओके एडिंग यूजिंग expanded form so children complete this exercise 2.4 we will meet again with the new concept that is addition using expanded form that we have already done but we should do okay so okay till then bye bye and take care